I know what's happening. I figured I'd stop and show you this. I'm out hunting shrooms and this is a poisonous puffball. Puffballs are a, there's a lot of edible ones and they're pretty easy to identify if they have uh, white flesh inside once you understand what a puffball is anyway. But uh, these are sometimes mistaken for uh, puffballs right here. Got a dog over here, hold on a minute. All right, so that's over. That dog appeared much friendly the first time it came through, but it was friendly. It was just kind of spooked with me sitting here with the camera. But anyway, this is the poison puffball, and the way you tell it from uh, the edible ones uh, mainly is by uh, cutting it in half. And if I've already cut this one in half here. But inside, when you first cut it in half, it's kind of purple. And I believe they call them a purple spored puffball. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think the Latin name for the species might be uh, scleroderma. I haven't looked it up in a while. I just know it by its features, you know, and how to separate it from the edible puffballs. And that's all you really need to know, you know. Separate the edible from the poisonous. But this one, the other thing is, I noticed these ones are much harder than the edible puffballs. I mean, you want edible puffballs to be firm, but these are like beyond firm. See, I cut it open, and it's all dark inside. And it's not spored out or anything, it's not all fluffy. It's solid. You can chip it away, but that's definitely not an edible puffball. I figured I'd just show you that real quick. And I can show you over here. Uh, some that are already spored out. I believe there's a few different varieties of these, if I'm not mistaken, but once they're spored out, you know, you try to cut them open and the stuff just blows away in the wind. It's all spores inside. All dusty and airy and just blows away in the wind. There's a couple more here, and obviously they're much softer. If I squish on that one, you can actually see spores come squirting out of it. But anyway, those aren't edible. Figured I'd just show you that. They seem to grow in some of the same areas. I mean, this area is loaded with them. There's probably 50 to 100 all up in this little grassy section between these little bitty oak trees right here. Poison puffballs.